tonight. Um, I, you know, I don't like having to talk about whether well, there's a must win, but you know, I always told you guys, we're going to be honest with you and I'm going to be honest with my team. Um, you know, we got a chance to finish, you know, tied for third or fourth tonight, or we could finish eighth or ninth after the outcome tonight. That's just the, the reality of it. And so I wanted my guys to understand that they did. Um, I was really, really um, proud of the guys because they'd worked so hard the last couple weeks. We played better, um, but with no reward. And then you stack on top of it another good team coming in, another tough preparation. Our guys are tired. They're t I tell you, they're tired. Um, you look at the road that we've had, whether it be at you know at Texas A&M and then you know, and at Tennessee and and in Alabama at home and there, there was a lot of those are great teams, physical teams, a lot of travel, and then the short prep after the Alabama game. It was a, it was a tough couple of days. So they'll get the day off. They'll get the day off tomorrow, and they've earned it. Um, but just up and down the roster, you know, um, Jalen Williams did a phenomenal job on Kobe. Um, Kobe's a great player. They're friends. They played together uh, AAU ball together. They know each other well. Um, you know. Wendell with nine assists and no turnovers. My centers had 20 rebounds, 23 rebounds if you, if you had Yo. It's good to get Yo in there. Man, does he look so bouncy and, and athletic, and he's got a great future. Um, but we dominated at the five spot, which we needed to. We won the four spot. I mean, we, 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 we literally won every position tonight. So great win, and take tomorrow off, get ready for Vanderbilt. Well, you know what, Tobias, even if they didn't respond, um, I would have understood just because they've had so much fatigue and, and they were disappointed. But I'm proud of the way they I'm, – I'm glad they responded the way they did, and I'm glad they got rewarded with some success. Um, but it really was – it really had nothing to do with my challenge. Um, I think it had more to do with Ira Bowman and Mike Burgermaster putting a great game plan together. Um, I think the culture and character of our program – um, um, our guys care about trying to make history and um, we want to try to get to the NCAA tournament but this helps but we, got, you know, we still got you know, work to do but should give us a, glad we shot the ball better I think that's got a, that got a chance to give us a little bit of confidence moving forward hopefully Well, we talked about, look, we hold teams 73 points or less. We're 17-1. and one. I talked to the guys about, look, we control our destiny. Purdue scored 42 against us. They just beat, excuse me, Northwestern scored 42 against us. They just beat Purdue. We just had a chance to beat the number one team in the country in Alabama. We didn't, but we had a chance. Can we hold Missouri under 73? If we do, we're going to win the game. And so not often can you give your kids almost a guarantee. Now, Missouri, obviously, the number three offense uh, in the country. You know, we can really score it and really shoot it. Um, and they were probably affected a little bit by the big win at Tennessee and a tough turnaround. Back-to-back -back Tennessee, Auburn, that's a tough, that's a tough swing. Well, um, we talked about to the bench last week, uh, and, and this is what we talked about. We talked about it being a collection of all of us, and we're all responsible. So in the last, we've not won, let's say, let's say the last four games, four out of five, whatever we didn't win. I've got Wendell and KD and Al and Jalen and Janai out there at the end. But if they've had to carry us for 35 minutes, and if they can't carry us in the last five, that's on the team. It's on me. It's on everybody. It's on the bench. Our bench has to play better so that those guys can be fresh and furious to win games at the end. You know, I would assume today would have been a close game, and that would have been the case. So I'm glad the bench definitely, all of them, definitely stepped up under Son. I thought Trey Donaldson played with great confidence. Dylan, obviously, almost a double double. Uh, Lior knocked out a couple shots, played great defense, right by the ball. Um, you know, the bench was good. KD, and then KD, uh, again, li little by little, little by little. 
and then the watershed opened up a little bit tonight for him. Um, when he gets a little bit more of a lift on his shot, it was interesting. Key doesn't trust me all the time. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't. But I talked to him about it, and um, and um, you know, give 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 Marquise Daniel some credit. Um, you know, Marquise is my d director of player development, and he is constantly in the ears of our players. You know, regarding their trials and tribulations and challenges, and does a phenomenal job keeping everybody together, keeping the guys together because he was a pro and he is a pro. Um, but I had talked to KD a little bit about just when he shoots up, when he shot in the gun this summer, the gun's got those nets all the way around. And in order to put the ball in a hole, just as far as your visuals are concerned, you almost have to shoot, feel like you're going to shoot a little higher to get over the top of that net. And I told him, I said, KD, let's get on that gun. Let's just get on that gun and let's shoot. Let's shoot on that gun. Because he, he, his release point was up instead of out. And when he shoot at a high, a better, that's trusting it. So, um, but, but Marquise Daniels put the time in. Um, I was with my staff with, with, with Katie to help him come around a little bit. Well, um, the uh, um, we we executed our defensive game plan really, really well. Again, Ira Bowman and Mike Bergemaster um, um, did a great job with the scout. We we do have a real defensive system, and we real have a, we have a real offensive system. It's it's uh, they're two completely different. They are the two completely, like I don't have an offensive coordinator, or defensive coordinator, but we really do, and. Um, and so I, you know, I, I, I thought, look, our, our um, techniques and our um, system match, just matched up really well tonight with Missouri. It, it's all I'm going to talk about about matchups. We made nine. It felt like we made nineteen. You know, it just felt like, like I can't believe it. Um, we got open shots, and, and I'm not trying to get the guys to make tough contested shots. I'm just trying to get them to make open shots. I thought the ball moved really well. The ball didn't stick. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter what we're running. When you're making shots, you're, you're scoring points. Well, we got Vanderbilt on the road, and then we got what we got Kentucky on the road, and Ole Miss is at home, and then we got uh, at Alabama. So I got three more on the road. Um, no, we'll 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 take tomorrow off, and um, I think they'll be fine for Saturday. But they definitely were tired tonight. Um, you know, he, he uh, we need Janai to be dominant on the inside. We had an advantage at the five position tonight. We did um, uh, against Missouri. Um, we won't we won't necessarily um, at Vanderbilt quite as much. We were bigger. Uh, one of Missouri's very few weaknesses is rebounding. One of their very few weaknesses. They're a little undersized, and so we really emphasized going inside. We created some switches because they switch everything, and you know, Dylan and Janai were able to. You know, get some matchups against some guards and rebound and score over them. Um, you know, you got to find different ways every night. You got, you know, you got to, you got to, we got to finish. You know, Janai shoot, shoots, uh, you know, eight for thirteen, and he probably had, you know, five that you would have thought could have gone down. I mean, he didn't, he didn't have, he had, he had uh, balls around the rim that that he needs to be able to finish. Well, I mean, you know, you look at the percentages. Obviously, their shooting percentages in conference have um, have been low, but they but they both look great. 
and they both got open shots. And it's, um, you know, you make one or two of those at, at a couple of these other games, and, and we're in an even better spot. So it was good to see them, and they're putting the time in the gym, and it was great to see them get rewarded. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you.